and you, you see your friend of the silver flame there with uh, with these two weird octopi type creatures that uh, you know between the te- between the uh, the tentacles is webbing mm-hmm. and they're like wrapped all around him uh, how high up is he how high up are you um I don't know. like because uh, I was checking out what was on the the bottom of the ship so I'm probably uh, 20 feet above the ground. So I guess you guys want to drop an issue? Sure. Don't want to, but I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, you can't breathe, Ryan. All right. Seven. So Mark's got a seven. I got a ten. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. <laughs> is the body of the thing right up against him, or is it just the arms? You don't see it. it. You just see, you see, uh, you see uh, just darkness where the the griffin was. I can see it. How? I have dark vision. That's not a magical darkness. Oh, it's magic dark. Okay. Dark. That stops. I'm the only one cool enough to be able to see through it. Mm. We have true sight. Uh, keep uh, telling you, devil sight through uh, invocation through warlock. Mm-hmm. Dark vision, 120 feet, and you can see through magical darkness. That's what I need. I'm gonna smite the shit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so what were the what were the initiatives? 27, 7, 10, 19. I have a seven as well. All right, so you're up. I just get my bow out and ready. Okay. Well, I'm not really a fighter, so I will just, you know, throw a, throw a curse at it and yell loudly. Okay. Well, it's at this point that you um you get a couple sensations. Okay. Uh, one of them is you feel like you have an you you have an urge to to point. And uh, utter some words that never crossed your mind before. Okay. And uh, the the other thing is, there there's something beyond your sight, just beyond your being that you know you feel like you could just grasp and pull out. Well, I'll I'll go with the with the the words and point. Okay. Well, you have up to uh, two Eldritch Blast rays that you can. Let loose with. Alright, I will blast one at each guy. Lowest is a 17, highest is a 23. Okay, so they both hit. One guy takes 10, one guy takes 3. And then I'll say, what the hell was that? How much was it? Ten and ten and three. Okay. Uh, you just you just feel like you've been punched through like a pillow twice. I can't even say anything witty because I'm being smothered by ten. <laughs> <laughs> you could, but who knows where those tentacles will end up. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, what was the next size? 19? Yes, that was me. Yeah. Calamari? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Calamari? Do you have any idea what these things are? I have an idea. Yeah, would I, would I know what they are? I can't see them. Yeah, you can't see Do you them. have anything to, like, knowledge-based stuff? Because uh, you can not. clearly see them compared to anybody else. Oh, I have nature. Oh. What are you shooting at? I don't see anything. What happened to us? What happened to uh? There's like a couple squid thingies up there. They're strangling the uh. What do you? The flamboyant one. Hmm. You can't see him. <laughs> sky. I'm a little sky knight. <laughs> sky, sky knight. Sky knight. That's it. That's a trap. <laughs> uh, so when did you take this up? This. 
something. I've had this now about two months. It's an alternative to heroin. Yeah, why? So I don't smoke. I like smoke off and on. There's only six known carcinogens car car in those. What'd you say? There's only six known carcinogens in those. <laughs> Way less than cigarettes. Yeah. And they don't stink. They still give us the uh, beautiful effect of secondhand smoke. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. It's not smoke. It's vapor. It's not smoke in any way. The same shit's in it. If there's nicotine, that's it. Okay. It's a, it's and that's a health right. PSA brought to you by Nerdart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not actually combusted smoke. Yeah. It's a delivery system, a vapor delivery well, system. For they the are market. still contesting whether there is secondhand smoke uh, caused by them or not. Like that's still being researched. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not actually. Um, yeah, how about we just proving yet? How about we debate this later and All right, see I'm if I'm trying to save Ryan's character? Cast a message towards uh, where Ryan is. I only say, I only took three actual hit points of damage. Oh, okay. That's What's good. going on in there? Uh, uh, <laughs> you hear a voice in your head. Telepathically. Uh, I just yeah, told much. you. <laughs> Well, uh, sorry, <coughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> and you don't know that I don't believe you. That's true. I can cast a spell. Hey, why are you objects. in my head? Usually I'm the only one in here. Oh, god damn, what a waste of a spell. <laughs> 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 don't use things like that when there's eight wisdom. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> why did I eat Usually they're die? thoughts of myself and my own grandeur. <laughs> yeah, well. There's only room enough in here uh, for me, you, you strange off. alien presence. <laughs> I'm willing him away from out. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> There's only room for one Ace Zenith in here, and I am Ace Zenith by the flame. How do you know? Well, thank goodness it only lasts one round. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you need to make a wisdom save versus like you might get stuck. versus stupidity. I don't know. She needs some flames under that Wait, if thing. It, might be a good idea. If you uh. If you actually see into my mind, you see like monuments of myself. <laughs> <laughs> is the ma is the dark? Uh, is this dark? <laughs> yeah. Following the Griffin, like the Griffin's flying. Or? Yeah. Oh man. So can we see the darkness? Uh, yeah. Does the Griffin any tail or any wings out of it to give me an idea of where the Griffin is compared to? No. Just shoot it down. <laughs> Leave them all. We'll get a new cat somewhere else. Right. <laughs> so, d describe this once more. Griffin, the Sky Knight, and two giant octopus. Oh, like towards the top of the, uh, the um, bubble? I'll describe it as best Santa. I can. Santa. Okay. C can he see? Does he just see right through it? Like it's not even there, the darkness? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he won't actually see the edge where. Correct. Well, nah. I'm sure you see the darkness. You can see in it, though. Uh, okay. I just, I just assumed I saw through it like it wasn't even there. Nah, I, I assume you know that it's So it was like an ink cloud. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Towards the top are these creatures. Yeah. All right. I'll shoot towards the top. What's the oh, worst thing to happen? I just cast. I just cast. Magic I'm pretty stuff. sure. I'm pretty sure with a fireball you can get it all. Oh yeah, that's definitely true. Mm, I bet. That's what I'm action, throwing. You don't have fireball. I'm fear. Oh. <laughs> roll it out there. Uh, I'm. I'm done. I cast message and I it wasted it trying to talk to this guy. Okay. <laughs> wasted. What are you talking about? Oh, I did. Waste what it. was after the sevens? Sevens. All right. Sevens are up. All right. Well, Who's got a seven? You got a seven? Which my dex is an eight, which yours? Thirteen, right? Yeah, you I think he beat you. I yeah. think he beat you. What a loose and arrow. Into the darkness. <laughs> okay. Attack what could possibly go wrong? Darkness. Roll two twenties and tell me the lowest one. Is it a one? <coughs> huh? Is it a one? No, I just rolled an 18. But the lowest one is uh, a seven, which would be a 12. Okay, here. All right, roll damage. Uh, 
four. Okay. You hear a solid thunk. Sweet. I hit something. I'm not sure what you hit. So is it me, the griffin, or <laughs> one of the creatures? Well. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it wasn't you. I could see if I could, uh, I would hear if my griffin was injured. No, well, your griffin did not make any injured noises. Oh, okay. Um, you actually, you felt an impact. Again, it felt like someone punching, punching. <laughs> yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm going to grab a dagger. Okay. Can I go like this? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it smitely. Okay. Smite this octopus off my face. Rolling with disadvantage, I take it? Uh, yes. Go roll one. Let me smite your griffin. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, right? Um, so it's a uh, AC 15. It's all right, so I went heavy smitely. Okay. <coughs> All right, good roll, good roll. Um, so that's 10, uh, 16, 24 points. All right, describe what you just did. I basically uh, channeled all of my <laughs> anger, my rage, and my self-love into <laughs> a uh, sweeping dagger thrust, uh, illuminating w with the silver flame. So briefly for an instant, you guys see a, a flash of light in the darkness, and, and then uh, I love pieces me. pieces of uh, pieces of this creature fall from the sky. You see a tentacle here, piece of webbing there. Uh, a rocky crown here, uh, yellow eyes. It come, comes raining down. So in that uh, that moment of light, since he had a ready to action with a with a bow, could he fire? Yeah, sure. Uh, roll two twenties. All right. Lower or high? Low. Ten. So uh, you hear something go, well, actually, you probably don't because you can still muffle it. Yeah. So is it back to me? It is, what, do you, what did you have? Out of 10. So All right, so you guys all went then. All right. <coughs> well, actually, I should have mentioned this, but you see, there's still the one... There, there was three of them that kind of uh, attacked him, mm -hmm. and the one kind of fluttered by and uh, missed, and it's, it's just a globe of darkness kind of moving around in the air. Oh. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, he didn't describe that part. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did describe it going by. GM uh, omission. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it missed, and now it's back in our field of vision. Yeah. yeah. From its whiff. So, with that, five more of these critters. Oh, Lord. damn. What preys on these things, do we know? Um, me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far. <laughs> so far, Paladins. So, five more of these things come falling from the sky. Yeah. Nate, one of them comes soaring towards you. I have a 16. It misses. Yes. Bodyguards, kill that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, dead. Uh, Mark, one of them also comes towards you, hitting AC 23. Hit me easily. Since I only wear hide, close <laughs> your eyes and hit me pretty much. <laughs> Good, that's the way I like it. Well, that's what you hide is. You do this. Don't hit me. Don't <laughs> yeah. hit me. Exactly. You take four points of damage. You can still hit 
still have nine temporary hit points if you would have just touched his shield. <laughs> and you're now engulfed in darkness. I attack the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I smite the darkness. Nate, another one drops on you. <laughs> it is already darkened. I have my thunder smite. But even if I don't so you that, hear something splat it next to you on the deck. So. <laughs> Excellent. I know exactly where to go now. And Mark, another darkened one drops at you. And that easily hits again. Wow, I'll get my high rolls on you and I don't even need them. That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm all bullshit on that for seven. <laughs> Pull like the diviner and just save those ones for later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you got critted? A crit on a on a crewman. Oh no! We so lost the has. Hopefully, it's one of the evil ones. <laughs> yeah. There's most of them. So. See, this is always what happens to me when I hide from shit. <laughs> and another crewman. Also we'll try to rather. And um, mm. Kiff guy and um, and you always know the drill to hide like hell <laughs> whenever the shit hits the fan. Okay, so it is one of the quote-unquote evil ones that gets critted. So that one takes nine points of damage. And uh, you hear, Ugh! and you hear someone hit the ground. And then uh, one of your bodyguards uh. takes four points of damage. Oh, no. so you guys they died, they don't get paid. Okay. <laughs> they also don't crew the ship anymore or fight orcs. This is true. So number one has taken four. So top of the order. Uh, he, he had a 27. Mm -hmm. Does he get bumped down or... Well, yeah, he would go wherever he fell in before, so... Okay, Which so was top. after you... So Mr. 27? Or you at twenty? He's 20. at a nineteen. So he is. Yeah, I help. I lose oh, my track later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I can't see the one that plopped down next to me. Can I? It's in darkness. Yeah. So this is. So I'm in darkness right yes. now. Yes. Oh, man. You kind of have an idea where it's at because. Okay. Didn't see that one coming, Diviner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly where mine is. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, if my character knew more, he might have been able to make a crap like that. Uh, Can't see, doesn't know he's a, he's a diviner, all these problems. Yeah. Let's see. I got 90 pro 99 problems, and a dark mantle is definitely a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to attack it with Flame Firebolt. Okay. That's roll two. Uh, yes, you will be disadvantaged. You would have been disadvantaged anyway because it's next to you. Oh. Shocking grass. Do you have shocking grass? No, I don't have shocking grass. Mm -hmm. Well, I figured, you know, just poke it in the eye. Can't see <laughs> it. Oh! Like a shotgun. All right. Uh, 15 and 13. Uh, plus. Oh, plus six. So, that's two. Plus pluses. Plus pluses. That'll be 14 fire damage. Okay. It shrieks. An agony. Shriek some more. <laughs> All right. So you said there's something about like I could reach into a space beyond. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. Okay. You just pull out your you pull out. Well, you tell us what you pull out. Okay. Well, basically I've uh, described it before as a kind of a cross between a spear and a sword, rather than having a you know yield basic uh, grip. It's got an uh, elongated handle. Uh, it's as opposed to being made of. Uh, metal. It's kind of made of what you would look like when you look at the star. It's all black with the starlight. This is interesting. You instinctively know how to use it. And that's lovely. What's oh, that? I said lovely. I'll begin moving towards uh, the one that's attacking him. Okay, towards uh, Nate's character, yeah. the halfling? Okay, well. It's an action to... Oh, it's an action to draw? Yeah. Okay. Oh, serious? No bonus or no? Well, you know, you can create a pack <coughs> weapon as an action. Super cool star sport, I guess you know. All right, so sevens. Yeah, I'm trying to 
figure out what I'm going to do. Alright, should I take my action while he's figuring? Yeah. 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 Alright, I'm going to um, Thunder Smite the one that's on my face. Okay. Alright, so I gotta do the disadvantage. Um, well, they're pretty. Co- they're both sixes, actually. <laughs> so, but that's a uh, AC of thirteen. Hits. Okay. So I have to look up Thunder Smite exactly, but it's uh, it's taking uh, 11, 16 points, and can I wear that for a second? Sure. Let's see. Well, thunder smite that was definitely pushes very it ten, loud. It, and it three hundred yeah, it's really loud and it pushes it ten feet away. So you thunder smite it with your dagger, which blasts it up up into the air above you, and it's now raining chunks of dark mantle. Ugh. I need to get my men to wash this out of my armor and my cloak. And your hair. And my hair. So it, it what's left of it? It did. Yeah, yeah. It's been loving up your uh, lock there. Though I wonder how it is for my skin. It might be like a good exfoliant, <laughs> like this fish. Yeah. All right, it would have been a strength saving throw, but that's a moot point now. Cause it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Explode. Explode your fire. And that uh, can be heard from three hundred feet away, so I won't. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely very loud. Uh, hopefully, it didn't move the orcs. <laughs> sure, it did. All right, so, how many are left? Sound in the traveling space. Yes, something works to our advantage. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? How many oh. spots are there around? It's my turn. Now? Uh, well, now, um, there's two less. So there's five or six. All right, and the others coming towards the ship. They're actually they're all around the ship right now because they fell on you guys. And I'm mm. wheeling um, Felicity around back down to the help down there. I just didn't know if there were more coming. Uh, I have a dagger. Mm-hmm. We'll try and cut it. It's on my face, you said, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and cut it up with a dagger. Uh, my dagger is silvered. I don't know if that does anything extra to it. But uh, I had to roll two dice, right? I have an 18 and a 20. Wait, yeah, it hits. Yeah. Shoot a wild sheep. Oh, damn it. I have two <laughs> attacks. I didn't use the first turn. Oh. I forgot. Son of a B. Not used to be in ninth level. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Not used to being in fifth level or higher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Well, I jumped right on that when I played the monk. The, the uh, meat uh, grinder. Meat grinder, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Six. Although I couldn't have smited it first. That's for sure. Okay, so you slash it for six. No, I do two attacks, I do it twice. Action. Yeah. <laughs> you get that with bonus feet. Yeah. <laughs> do you get a bonus feet? Can you take bonus feet? Well, you can get, you can either get a bonus feet or you can get bonus feet. It's action. a four on the die. Okay. Bonus one is actually me. Well, actually, a four on the die, your strength's a 17. Yeah. That would be an 11. That hits. Oh, sweet. These things are like swan and balloons. Something as easy as, easy as me to hit. <laughs> it's another uh, six damage. Okay. It shrieks again. So dark, a dark mouth is like a dark stingray. So like an octopus or a I mean, octopus. it's like a vampire squid that flies. In game, my character's not gonna know anything, but it like just eats things. It's like a, a subterranean predator. Mm-hmm. So, Mark, you take an attack of opportunity as it detaches and tries to fly away. Oh, sweetness! Oh, you're looking for a picture. <coughs> I don't know. Not, um, the <laughs> not the death knight. <laughs> not lower stuff. Can I? Can that? Do I have time to like hit it with a sword, or do I have to just use a dagger? Uh, yeah, you can draw and cut. Draw and cut. Uh, you have to drop the dagger, but that's all right. Well, I'm two-handed fighter, so. Oh yeah, well you can draw with your other hand. Yeah, draw and cut, and uh, it's a uh, twelve to hit. 
Fits. So did you take the feet too? No, it, it gave it to me as Rangers, the fighting style. Yeah, I get to use uh, weapons in each hand, and uh, I get to add my bonuses to both. You get yeah, you get your strength, but I think okay, make an attack roll, or make it roll your damage. Seven. Okay, so it is flying away. Oh, it wraps up. The one that came off him is still alive, though. Yes. Is there whether well, is there one still harassing somebody else? Yeah, the, the, the one crewman. Uh, that isn't making noise anymore. And then there's the other one that has one stuck to it. Hmm. Um, which one do I go for? The one that actually, you know, the one flying away. Let's like, just wipe it out. <laughs> okay. So it's 24 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> Did you roll with disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. Seven. Seven. Damage. The uh, darkness dissipates and it plummets from the sky. So there's one I'm still fighting. And yeah, there's three on the boat. There's one on my bodyguard and one on one of the crewmen. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to go after the one uh, on towards the crewman. Not the one still next to you. Because uh -huh. there's the crewman that's down. My bodyguard's like fighting it, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I tell the other bodyguard to help him. Okay. And I'm going to go after the uh, the one that's might be eating one of my crew. He's definitely eating one of your crew. Okay, so I'm going to take out my uh, dagger and attack it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Feels like kind of a waste, but... A 20? Oh, take that. Can you do less than one damage if you have a negative <laughs> modifier to strength? I think you do at least a point of damage. You heal. Then That's he takes true. one. <laughs> nice. Do you have a negative one to strength? Yeah. <laughs> I hit it. It, re it refuses to cut its skin. All right. So the one that's uh, there's, there's one on the on the actual crewman. Yes. And he's still struggling. Yes. And then there's, there's the one that guy. stopped moving that he might. Need immediate medical attention. Was it 18 to hit? Oh, that's right, you don't need to roll two. Yep, hit. Uh, it takes uh, nine damage. Okay. Is he still. still? Is it still fighting? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks. What's a 12 to hit? Hits. Takes 11 damage. Okay. And it's still going? It uh, detaches and tries to run away. Good lord. Can you use your reaction? I can use my reaction? Oh, absolutely. That's a 17. Hits. For another 10. What did you do to it? Cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get away? No! And then, okay, so it falls in two halves. I want more of you know, uneven cut. Okay, that's fine. Legs go this way, the top half goes that way. <laughs> I checked the crewman. Is he dead? Um, I'm uh, going to yell for some of check. them. Go get my healing kits. So I point to some of them to, to go run for my stuff. Yeah, have medicine? Room. Yeah, I have medicine. So you can add that to the roll. Okay, so it's 24. Plus heal. Also? No. Just medicine. Okay, 24. Okay, uh, you stabilize him. He was definitely dying. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, sevens. Okay. Um, uh, you guys see one more globe of darkness coming down. It's on the no, boat. it's on one of the. Uh, it's so on it's the and it's on one of the guys. <coughs> yes. Well, you don't know. Well, I mean, I'm. There's a body sticking out, or it's too big to even. It's know? like a 15 foot radius. So. Okay. So I'm having uh, Felicity like land uh -huh. there, and then like I'll basically uh, dismount at a run, and then head over, try to fish for it with my hand, find it, and stab stab with my dagger. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot an arrow at it. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. Hits. An arrow goes whizzing by your head. Thunk. My, I'm glad that was <laughs> went preceded me. Huh? Four. Are you rolling your sneak damage? I don't get it unless they. I get. I can get sneak if they haven't acted. On that, I don't get sneak right on it all the time. No, if you have an ally within five foot. Oh. Of it. I have. Then I have advantage. Which gives you sneak. Don't argue. Just roll no, you, you get sneak. Oh, I get actually. I get. I get one. D another D six. Six points out. Okay. All right. Oh, it's not the sneak attack. It's just sneak. Lowest roll was a uh, was a fifteen. Hits. So, all right. Um, so that's um, sixteen points total. Oh no, there's more. Okay. Okay. You you just hack it to death. Yeah. Yeah, like I was actually like actively feeling for the, like the bulge of the, the creature thing. since mm -hmm. I kind of seen I was, it. I think like. it was, I think was, I'm and, just uh, I can't yeah. I don't remember my thing. I did get the whole damage. Five yeah, anytime five you eight. have an enemy with him five foot mm -hmm. of an ally with him at five foot of an enemy, you get your sneak. I get all my yeah. I got my full sneak attack. Wow, even <laughs> so I get five d six. Huh. Yeah, yeah. That well, because it matter. automatically actually beca with him being within. Yeah, it's like if the guy's still alive, he probably technically counts too. So it didn't really matter. Yeah, that guy was up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, if someone gets me my medical kit, I'm going to administer it to the crewman since he's okay. been stabilized by Mark. And, um, hmm, here we go. He gets like a D6. It's not a jail axe, is it? No, it's one of the other guys. Uh, what is it actually? Mean? I know his name, so I gotta ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I know a man's name. So does uh, this terrible threat seem to be ended? Because I know there was one that was floating near me. That, kind that of one floor. fell on the floor. Yeah, that missed me and fell on the floor. Um, well, then that's that's that one's floating away. How close is it to anyone? It's <laughs> close to it. him. Within five feet, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> it is within five feet of him. So. Twelve to hit. Damn, can't you <laughs> we have been really one list this is during this whole disadvantage. I know. That, that's bullshit. No, <laughs> I got <laughs> all damage. <laughs> yeah. Three, nine, eight, eighteen. Okay, so it's floating back. It's flying back up into the sky. Okay, okay good. For the very big arrow shaft. <laughs> oh. I don't actually know how to use a healer's kit. <laughs> you don't know how to it's under the feet, dude. I don't know what the healer's kit does. It's under the feet. It's under the feet. You're looking in the wrong spot. No, I looked under the feet, and you know what it says? When you use a healer's kit to stabilize a person, and when you use when you expend a charge of the healer's kit, do I just say, I've got a healer's yeah, kit, so it. I'm healing you, you just yeah. much, you yeah. insta You insta-stabilize oh. with a healer's awesome. kit. Awesome. No rolls or anything? Okay. It's already stabilized. And then you just roll. Well, then he gains... Um, <laughs> You're overcomplicating it. All right. Well, he gains at least seven hit points. It's okay. also based on his level. So it's seven plus his level. Ten. All right. Good job, Redshirt. <laughs> you heal him the full. Well, that, hopefully that'll patch you up. So, bandage him, do whatever I need to do, get him back on his feet, and get him to a bed. I pointed to some of the people and they take this man to a bed. All right, so that was one of the guys that he brought in. Oh. 
one of O's crew. Yeah, and then the other guy is he's injured, but he's uh, only like four points. Okay. This is really a flush All right. Well, um, I'll we do find time to clean up the deck. <laughs> he gets at least five. So, so he's got the All right. So he's off the deck. Technically, the guy that. I mean, it's like, I'm almost dead. I can fight, you know, so. Yeah. Whenever the guy feels like he can get back in the groove of things. And how many healers' gifts did you buy? Okay. Ten. So that's a hundred Do we know, know what the creatures were? Hmm. Um. I guess it's a knowledge nature check. So that'd be 16. So 24. A 24, yeah. Mm. You, you know what they are. 15. And the 15. How do they taste? We have a ship's cook, right? Sort of. <laughs> well, it's not one, mm, though. Man. Probably, it's like space calamari. <laughs> space mm, All right, could we uh, bread and deep fry that? Somebody get right on that. Oh, we have to see about this whole moss peril and stuff, too. Yeah, yeah we're still stuck to the thing. All right, but ship's cook. Work on this. <laughs> uh, in fact, probably one of my I mean, more cook. poisonous. Captain of Morale, would you mind flying around the ship again to see if you can find out why we're sure, stuck? Sure, as, as long as you can keep the squid from descending upon you. All right. Uh, I'm very wary of squid. For now. He looks really good at shooting. Could you uh, keep an eye on him? Mm -hmm. Let him know if something's coming at him. There's hey. some, there's some uh, fungus down there to add to the to the calamari dish. Yeah, we know it's not very yeah, good. Yeah, but I don't think we want to We've been that. warned about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, want, I still wanted to go back and check like near the bottom of the ship without landing. Okay. So, nothing seems to be touching the ship. I mean, it's it's on the vines and the moss, yeah. but nothing seems, you know, nothing looks like it's actively touching the ship or trying to penetrate the hole or anything like that. Hmm. Uh, knowledge Arcana? Sure. Hmm. How about we use my 12? And then that nope. will be a, that is a 18. Okay, um... How about a 21? <laughs> 21 is good. Yeah, uh, there, it's possible there could be magic at work, you know, mm -hmm. and, the, and that's uh, assaulting the ship, which in turn would be assaulting your, your helmsman. All right, then. Well, the best I can do without, because the magic's pretty much invisible, is go through, start the ritual for detect magic. So. Okay. Um, go, go grab my book. Okay. Well, you do that, you know, it takes you the 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. Is it 10 minutes or a minute? 10 minutes. Uh, I think it's 10 minutes. So it takes you the 10 minutes, and uh, basically this ship it appears to be acting as a, a conduit for some kind of necrotic energy. Some uh, necromancy is what you're, you're detecting. Is it coming from any particular area? Or? Um, it appears to actually be coming from the helm itself. Which you you know doesn't make sense, uh, so if you could find the source, you would probably be able to match up the, the the magical energies. Okay, so it's affecting the helm, and it also is coming from the helm, but it's probably from originating somewhere, somewhere else. else. All right. So uh, does this does the plant that's around us does it seem to be like one central or? thing? No, there's, there's like, there's a cluster of five. Could they attack us with their necrotic helm like that? Uh, you don't believe so. You've never heard of anything like that. But then again, who knows? These are kind of crazy space orcs. <coughs> so anything's possible. I tell him about their helms then. Him? Oh, yeah. That is awful. They really put people in it? Ugh. Well, um... Hmm. I am getting some kind of... S magic signature like that, but, um... 
I'd have to examine one of their helms before I knew what it was, if it was if it was the same. Uh, I'm kind of like looking out, so the vegetation, everything's not doing any magic stuff. No. I don't see any like signatures in the distance anywhere. No, not that you can tell, but this cavern goes off to one direction. Okay. Kind of slopes down and away. Uh, Will I be able to maneuver uh, Felicity flying through it, or is it too narrow? Uh, no, it's actually like 40 feet wide. Okay. By, uh, you know, it's it's almost like a circle. Oh, nice. So, uh, who stays with the ship and who goes? Is that moss all over the floor? Yes. I'm going to wild shape into a, uh... New how long was the corridor? Uh, it goes beyond your vision. Beyond the pale. Now, is the, the floor completely covered with this stuff? Or is there a way to navigate it without touching it? Uh, in this area it is, but there's an area beyond it that uh, it doesn't extend to. The silver flame says that fire so purifies hall. many a thing. Mm. Could just burn it. Well, how far how far out from the ship does it go? Till till it clear clear. Big sixty feet. I can cover thirty of that if you guys can find a way to cover the other thirty. Hmm. Make that an owl. So, it's just the sixty feet immediately off of the ship that is surrounded by that moss stuff. Yeah, the moss and the vines, and there's five giant mushrooms at the end of that. Well, they're kind of they're kind of like spread out like in a to uh, toadstool pattern. Okay. Those things have right. a hostile. Are those things able to to visit harm on someone? They look like big mushrooms. Like the kind if you ate them you'd grow. What's the get a one off? <laughs> what what's the furthest distance I could fly over them? Like can I keep a pretty good distance away? You could be um, like uh, forty feet and you'll be like scraping the top. Damn, I wish I had read that before. So, uh, how do we want to proceed, gentlemen? I'll fly over, and then I can have Felicity fly the rest of you one by one. I'm going to fly over with my lance at the ready, just in case there's mushrooms. Try and get fresh. <laughs> can I harvest any of the mushrooms? Can I harvest pieces of the mushroom for trying to make poison? Can make a house out of that mushroom. You can. You have a poisoner's kit, right? Mm -hmm. You know how to use it. Mm -hmm. You can. What do I have to do? Just roll? Um, make an intelligence check as you get over to it. Probably do the moss, too. All right. Uh, Are you sure what this I, is completely I, safe? For the kit? Your proficiency bonus. Your proficiency bonus. Uh, 21. That's a very good check. Uh, so you get close and you, you, you kneel down and you got your dagger out to, to dissect and scrape off. And that's when. <laughs> the Mikeanin stands up. <laughs> Mikeanin, come on. Mushroom golems. <laughs> nah, Mike and Heads. I mean, we're ninth level here. Come on, let's cut through, cut through the old crap cake here. Dude, that's what Dark Metals were seeing half. Mm -hmm. Well, they were hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know we had plenty of red shirts around, but those Dark Metal were hard. Alright. So as you do that, 11 vines shoot out at you. Man, it's a cat shoot. <laughs> Uh, 
It might hurt, but I don't think we'll be handing in character sheets. That's a lot of dice on here picking up being picked up. <laughs> so yeah, this I'll happens look. as I'm doing a flyover. I see this. Yeah. Stand and fight like a man, you mushroom. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm getting ready to lance it. You are gonna have to lance those mushrooms. Yeah. Who knows it might not be the mushroom. Yeah. So you been you begin jumping and shaking and baking around. Um let's see. Does a thirteen hit you? No. Does a eighteen hit you? Yes. Okay. So you get hit twice. You just got hit twice. Watch, I was watching this back. <laughs> yeah, I knew where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> Your back just got punched. Twice. Twice. <laughs> All right, so you take eight points of necrotic damage as your skin begins to blister and rot. Guy. How this rebuke? <laughs> oh, oh shiitake! Okay. What's it do? <laughs> um, make a dex save. Yeah. It's very dexterous, mushroom. Yeah. About those TPS reports? <laughs> About those DPS reports. That's a six. <laughs> okay, so... That'd be mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it just says you have to make... Okay, um... Grab regular dice and roll, please. I'm trying to find my other ten. All right here. Yeah, D10. Fourteen. Like real dice. <laughs> yeah. a okay, so one begins to, to burn and sizzle. Yeah, fourteen fire. Oh, that smells delicious. So is, is this a mushroom that shoots out vines, or are these just vines? The, they're the five of them all attack them. It's a oh, vine that shoots out yeah. mushrooms. <laughs> Ooh, it's a one-up. One of them is kind of burning. So, what is everyone doing? Well, I don't know. I'm going to lance it. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do like like uh, I, I, it was a lancer's attack. challenge. Okay. Like a jousting green. Go ahead. All right. So, the one that. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hit a, a fresh one. Okay. I can do fl two attacks on the flyby. Okay. Um, yeah, those it's are probably both going to hit. Yes. All right. Um, I'm they're, not they're, they're rooting in one spot. They're not moving. I, um, I'm not going to make with the smite because I don't think it's going to be required. I'll just kill them. Oh, uh, all right. So 10, uh, 25. Okay. So you totally skewer one. It's like you slice it, dice it, and shish kebab it. Either. Ah, if I throw this on fire, it probably tastes delicious. 14 on the low number? Or kill right. you. If I can just find some meat. Uh, it hits. Oh, the squid. Let's go nicely with the squid. squid and mushroom. Dark mantle and mushroom. 10 damage to one of them. Okay. I'll just blast. Um, it is... Blast a nice chunk out of it, but it's still there. Mm, I hit it with fire. For... 7. A fresh one or the same one or ah uh, the one that was burning if it doesn't look like it was like okay that one it just kind of explodes when you hit it All right. so there's uh three of them still up what are we fighting now mushrooms <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> yes vicious necro causing mushrooms <clears throat> and they're all clustered together they're uh, mushrooms yeah kind of Micro rooms. Um, okay. I'm going to put a uh, flaming spear on them. Okay. Actually, get some of that moss, too. <laughs> we could have just rolled a path. That's the path. Drop it like it's hot. Although, moss. I don't know if a Drew would have problem mm -hmm. issues with that or not. It's necromantic mushrooms. They're still part of a nature. They're natural. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's if evil. he didn't mess with them and we just went around them, they would still be do here doing their thing. Being yeah, part of the like cir my, circle my elf, of life. Uh, bypass the needle blight. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, they're just doing their thing. Circle of their life. trees. <laughs> <laughs> loving the tree. 
and hating everything else. <laughs> Loving it enough to kill everything. <laughs> Flaming spear, 60 feet. Blah, blah, blah. Then it's a foot diameter spear appears in the third phase. What's the radius of it? Uh, 60 feet is the range. I think it only occupies like a ten uh, or five foot square. Yeah, five foot square. Mm -hmm. But it can deal damage to everything adjacent to it. Yeah, yeah, so you can grab two of them. So it's 2d6 fire damage. Alright. You're going to go near the, the wounded one and a different one? Or? Yeah. Remember, typhlings are generally okay with fire. <laughs> four. <laughs> no, Mighty. Four. 2d6, they get four fucking damage. <laughs> so they're both they're both up and okay. Did they get a saving throw or something? Yeah, they can save for half DC 15. That is a deck save, right? Uh, yeah, a, um, a, a negative two and a... Um, <laughs> and uh, they're both <laughs> taking it. <laughs> and a seven. <laughs> so they both took the damage. And you're up. So how long does that spell last? A long time. A minute. Concentration up to a minute. And these things aren't doing anything beyond melee range? That you know of. The only thing you've seen them do so far is... What was that? Another vine coming off the wall to uh -huh. come get us. Alright. Who's where and how? You're the only one in I'm the only on the ground. Okay. Yeah. The rest of them are... You're the only boots on the ground on this one. I am pointing and clicking from very far away. <laughs> I know he just lanced the one, so he got close. Yeah, but he's flying. flying. Yeah, he did a flyby. Yeah. With a reach he's weapon. Came in, hit, and gone. <laughs> With a reach weapon. Throw to die. Jesus. Mm. Ten. Hits. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I think if any of us roll five plus, we're generally Eight. going to hit. <laughs> I need a three. Eight. Eight. Okay, to um. Oh, because a ten hit, yeah. yeah. So to one yeah, of the ones yeah, is damaged or. Yeah. Okay, so if the one that's damaged most, you just made explode. Hopefully, you don't turn into a mushroom baby by being too close. Or to maybe it grows because it's a mushroom. Okay. Many games. We're very resilient, chitinous mushroom hide. Maybe. Alright, it's six of the vines shoot out at you since you're the only thing in range. And well, they all miss. <laughs> hey, did you see that vine of that typhling? <laughs> <laughs> How long does your hellish rebuke last? And does it it's um I thought it was it's a, a one shot. Reaction, that's a one shot. Uh one reaction. Yes, yeah, so it's just a you attacked, I react, that's it. Okay. So, top of the odor. We never roll yeah. initiative. We just <laughs> Ryan went first. Okay. Um, can I wheel around? You can. So there's enough space. And there's what? Two left? One left? There is. One, two. Two. Two left. Two. All right. Um, well, I would hope there's enough room for you to wheel around. There's a ship in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but I didn't know if we were in the tunnel part or not. Um, so, yeah, I'll turn around and I'll double lance the, uh, the one. Go for double penetration. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, my ro low roll was over a ten as well. Yes. Uh, my yes. other roll is a ten too. All right. Uh, all right. So that's twenty-one points. You do. You repeat. It's a repeat of performance of what you did last time to the fresh one. Uh, two mushrooms is failed on my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two attacks. Yes. Low numbers of sixteen on the die. Ten damage. Okay. Um, so the other one you blast, and it is still oh, up. Wow. As up as a mushroom can be. I put my spear on it. Okay, roll your damage. Over. Seven. Seven. Ha! <laughs> Saved? No. <laughs> I rolled a 19 and missed. <laughs> For a second, I thought I did save. How much did you do? Seven. Seven, Seven and you did? Ten. It explodes. It's, and it's, it does. It smells. It smells uh, not bad. Faintly of uh, of, of cooked sautéed mushroom. 
Hey, I'm getting kind of hungry. Are these things edible? So, what are you guys doing? So, I'm gonna anybody know I about plants? We can add this to the calamari. Plant. Yeah. Okay. That's it's like still I can, poisonous. I, the the, uh, the mushrooms are poisonous. I was harvesting it for po to make poison when I when they attacked. Oh, and I start shaking off my lance. <laughs> <laughs> I shall have to make Kif clean this later. Well, I'll see what I can harvest. Oh, here. I'll shake them off in your direction. All right, while you're down there, make an investigate roll. I'll say jinkies for the aid, the help. 20. Okay, you see um, the mushroom you were actually trying to harvest. You can see that it actually grew out of a person. Oh. Uh, I mean, you you, you bet you just barely make out the remains at this point. Lovely. Anything For the on gear. The, anything on, in the remains? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, you find uh, a metal vial. You can hear some liquid sloshing around in it. All right. Uh, a metal rod. It's like you know, yay long. What, about a foot? Yeah, about a foot, 18 inches. And a uh, belt pouch. When you pick it up, it seems to have a little bit of heft to it. Take a look in it, see what's in it. When you open it, it looks empty. Bag of molding. <laughs> Everything you put in there gets pretty moldy. <laughs> but the weight remains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great cursed item, actually. Everything good, and it like is an accelerated yeah. decomposing. People think it's a bag. It actually is. The the bag is actually much heavier than it looks. <coughs> yeah, it weighs a good 10, 15 pounds. <coughs> Might be stuff. I, well, I did look, look at it, and there's nothing in it. Either. Yeah, like reach in and like, yeah. or dump it out, and like for okay, all its so will, what, all of its contents. What bad happen, What bad things have happened to him while he's been trying to do something? <laughs> he's been attacked by vine tentacle spore things. That Dude, was it. If, if you're not in peril of things happening to you, you're not playing a rogue. Right? Any really? markings on it at all? No. Any robbings? Oh, uh, there's tons of those. Mm. Uh, well, there's a mark there. A mark Dude, there. just dump it out and like we'll think of it going. emptying out. Yeah. That lasts ten minutes, right? You do that. Yeah. And coins just start spilling out. Thousands. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> you see silver, copper, and gold. Ooh. Shovel it back in. <laughs> <laughs> And it goes around my waist. <laughs> that looks interesting. It looks like mine. <laughs> I nearly died. Hmm. And your throat will get cut later. <laughs> <laughs> you were injured, weren't you? Yeah. How bad off? I can heal myself. I can just drink a potion. Eight points down, so nothing major. Right, well, if you ever need the mercies of the flame. <laughs> mercies of the flame. And the healing hands of Ace Zenith. <laughs> you know where to find me. He'll put his healing hands all over you. Uh, Alright. So. So. Okay, I've got them. See anything else? Yeah. Is there anything under where any of the other mushrooms were? Nah, that's all you found. Alright. Uh, can I harvest any of the mushroom stuff? Oh uh, yeah, you can harvest it. Yeah. How much? Um, just put mushroom stuff down for now. It takes you. Well, actually, there's not there's not nearly as much as there were because everyone's been cutting them up. Mm -hmm. Oops, and burning them, lighting them on fire, and blasting them with orange <coughs> energy. Oh well. So after five minutes or so, you find the good parts. Um, <coughs> so what, what, uh, with the 
death, I guess you could call it, of the, the mushrooms, what has it done to the plants that have come off of it? Um, it hasn't really done anything to them. There's, they seem to be separate. It's just, like, interwoven in the floor. Okay. I just know that the they tried to attack them with some vines, so I didn't know if they were interconnected or not. No, they, they actually shot off of the mushrooms. Yeah. So if people still need to um, clear the uh, the moss, I can have um, have my mount. Is there anything special yeah. about the moss? Fly people back and forth. Fly me over. Other than just yeah. a moss? It just appears to be moss. It'll fly you but over. you just walk over the moss. It's the mushroom for the problem. I thought the moss also ate stuff. Organic matter. No. He just said, I just said, he's just said it's normal moss. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> he is out to kill us, you know. Only if I'm doing my job right. <laughs> that would be a 19 on nature to make sure it's just moss. It looks like just moss to you. <laughs> it appears to be just regular moss. Well, that's quite appearing now, isn't it? Do you feel reassured? Yep. Might as well just check for traps. <coughs> I'm going to start blasting some holes for me to step in this moss. In a nice it's little like halfling a, size pattern. It's just like, wait a minute here. Why don't you just jump on the griffin? Yeah, the griffin will fly everybody over. Yeah. It's got an 18 strength. Okay. I wear full plate when I ride it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it's okay. I'm on the ground already. I just walk across over. I'm like, I've still got my detect magic going on. Okay. How long does it last? Ten minutes. Concentration. Wasn't really doing anything else. Okay. So, bag around the You notice a bag around the typhoon glowing. Magic bag glow magic. It does. Alright. And the rod. And the rod. And the rod. And the potion. And the potion. Alright. Can you tell what it is? Isn't it just a roll if you handle it? No, I think you can just look at it and type of magic. You just have to. That's a detect magic. Identify, you can handle it over the course of a short rest and identify. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they made it a little easier. Yeah. Like, identify is like insta, but, and then. They tell you, they basically tells you the school that would come from. Which I don't know for, for that kind of thing. Might be conjuration? I don't know. What, the bag of holding? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, learn a school of magic, if any. Transmutation, maybe? It's conjuration or transmutation. <coughs> you can just tell me later, too. You don't have to do it now. Or you can just say, I don't know, but it's magic. It's magic. F U is magic. It's magic. No. Are there any markings on the vial or the rod at all? Probably. <laughs> Question marks all over. Have a magic powers to find out what the magic does. <laughs> so where is this pouch anyway? Just like it. It's on my. Sure. I have it around my waist. So like right there. It's like. You so don't know if I didn't have it. I had it so on before. Your crotch is glowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but you don't know if I ever had it on before. You couldn't have when hidden the hell of coins, coins <laughs> piled out at the base of your feet, <laughs> yeah, and then heard. you're frantically scooping them back in. <laughs> yeah. The fact that he's now here to take magic the second time. No, I already had it. It lasts ten minutes. Oh, we yeah. fought the things for a minute and a half. Okay. I saw glowing things in your possession. I probably could have saw glowing things on the ground if you didn't if you didn't have to dig for them. Well, they were, yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, on that note, what's your passive perceptions? To hit thirteen, nine, seventeen, eighteen, nine. nine. Oh, and I wonder what Felicity is. <laughs> More than, than yours. <laughs> She's got a plus five to perception, so... Fifteen. Fifteen, yep. Yeah. It is better than mine. She's wise. <laughs> She's actually a he. But I always refer to her as a her. Nice. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? 
Uh, I would like to head down the tunnel and see if we can get to whatever necromantic energy is binding the ship up. Yep. Yep. If it, in fact, is in this direction. There's only one direction to go. Well, well, well I mean, it could well, be in we're some going hole in. somewhere or some secret door we can't see. I don't know. No, that's all true. Commence railroad. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not forcing you to do anything. You, do whatever. you guys can try and climb out. Hell into space. No. <laughs> into space. Get picked up by orcs and stuff in one of those things. I have a breather crystal, right? You do. I could just fly out. For 48 hours. 48 hours. And then where are you going to go? In Felicity. You could just fly. He'll be flying out. Wherever we can get to. In and the time. orcs see him come out and just obliterate him. <laughs> no way. We're nimble. Well, I think uh, our issues might be in this direction, this necrotic energy that I'm seeing. Uh, why don't we go check it out? I much more prefer to deal with the erotic energy, personally. Uh, Let's go. Oh, on that note, <laughs> guys travel about an hour before you, the two of you notice uh, like, it looks like some kind of material hanging from the top of the, the cavern, almost like cloaks blowing in the wind. Oh, great. It's Mark's favorite monster. Cloaks blowing in the wind. Cloakers. Cloaks no, in the wind. No, that's a choker. Oh, Cloaks in the wind. It's like that Bob Dylan song. Yeah. Uh, anything on the material? Markings? No, they just, they just like, they look like black leather cloaks. Anybody's got kind of a weird spot for someone to put them. Yeah. Anybody got a thing to know about the thing? Yeah, I, I make mention of it, of it up there. All right. Well, you and Rob can roll initiative. Oh, excellent. I don't like typhoons and hatworks. <coughs> Ten. Your passive's not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Ten. Twenty-three. Oh, now I get okay, it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Like, they're just attacking Well, right now, I'm just seeing cloaks. <laughs> We're just like, so I see anything else? Um, no. Uh, they... Those cloaks are, are simply inferior. Feel mine. It's silk. This is really <laughs> silk. Feel. Leather cloaks? That's so peasant. That's right. Peasant chic? What do I look like? A peasant? No, no, no. They're kind of like, huh? Or perhaps it's derelict. <coughs> been, you all begin to hear a low subsonic sound. Like a moan. Mm. You can all make wisdom saves. Wisdom saves? Oh, this isn't good. <coughs> oh, thank goodness it's one of my saves. Is it like a fear effect? Holy crap. It is. 16. <laughs> I Six. got a 16 as well. 16. 15. Um, I need to look. I think I have a thing against. Uh, yep. Uh, me and the charm. Oh no, that's. Oh trying. crap! No, that's actually a twenty. I'm trained for in wisdom. Check that out. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so you broke the sixteen. Thing we had going. This one. Sorry. Yeah. All right. My griffin will be uh, red and white. All right. So I have a uh, twenty-one and. Griffin's got a uh, plus four and eleven. Your uh, Griffin turns town, begins flying away. Um, Let me see if I have something to be said about that. Proficiency and ability. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Griffin, Griffin, I have something to be said about this. Yeah. <laughs> if you're proficient, and you, you get your proficiency bonus. Right? Yes, Lucius. <laughs> Felicity, we do not run from threats. We charge bravely on. But each class only gets uh, two. Two saves that they're proficient in. Right. So <coughs> what are you going to be your first the level? Mm -hmm. uh, whichever, whichever of your classes you took as first level determines what two oh. saves you're proficient in. Oh, okay. Or if courage no, doesn't have the tenth level. No. Um, you only get it from your first class. Boom. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would be wisdom for him anyway. Was it Dex and Wisdom or Intelligence Wisdom? 
Wait, let me check the <coughs> saves just in case, because I didn't sure. actually write those down. I was operating under the assumption that he doesn't have wisdom as one of the saves, but maybe I'm wrong. Perhaps. Alright, what are your saving groups? So, uh. Do we have any idea what this what it could be? Mm, I'm gonna say no. And two two of the cloaks detach and begin fluttering down. At they're right above us, or yeah, they're right. <coughs> they do not get proficiency in the saving throws. Mm, so I guess I'll just shoot it with the cloaks. <laughs> okay. Uh, 23. Look at that. 23 to hit. 23 will hit. So, alrighty then. Well, Nate, mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess if I'm surprised, I can't do a reaction to this, huh? What is your reaction? That uh, would be shield. Oh, How surprising. And I just have my 16. I didn't see it coming. All right. Well, one of them flutters in your direction, and as it begins to flutter, the, it unfurls, and you can see the white underbelly with the wide, toothy maw and the baby eyes. And you, you can see that it actually has like a, a, a stingray tail. And it comes down, and slashes you with the tail, and oh, it bites no. at your face. So the tail zings you for six points of damage. Okay. Everybody made their wisdom save. And the bite for a whopping six points of damage. Okay. And it is on you. Get it off me, get it off me. I'm trying to chew through your face. Um, alright. Does a 13 or 11 hit your griffin? New. No. So, <clears throat> as your griffin is flying away, the other one flies, streaks towards it, uh, harrying it. You it's get back bucket. here! <laughs> We do not run the, from tra from challenges. The blows, you know, uh, bounce off of the barding. So you're grateful that you had picked it up. Um, and now... Wrap my all mountain bards. All, all three of them? Is There's no longer three of them, but nine. 
as uh, each one of them blurs into, or actually 12, into 4. Hey, you know how you like that, that new version?